Hey guys, welcome back to Mobile Ministries. We are continuing our little series here on renewal. And today is going to be a renewal of the body. And what this all comes down to is rest. God spent six days creating the heavens and the earth, everything on it, and man. And then on the seventh day, he rested. Throughout the Old Testament, he puts mandates in place that his people should rest. It's really important that we do this for ourselves as well. Today, in the way our world is, it's a go, go, go mentality, uh, especially women who are now in the workplace and are raising families and are doing extracurriculars. When are you finding time for you? When are you finding time to just rest? Rest in God and resting from the world and your responsibilities. Now, ideally, if you could find 15, 20 minutes, half an hour each day for just you to read scripture, to just sit and stare at a wall, to uh, watch an episode of your favorite show, to maybe take a hot bubble bath, um, whatever it is those comfort things are for you, you should try to do that every day. But in this busy world, we can't always get a break each day. And so I would encourage you to, if nothing else, you need to have a day of rest sometime throughout your week. In your seven days, you need to find one day that you are able to take preferably the whole day to do a whole lot of nothing. And that can be like going to the park with your family and just relaxing. Um, it doesn't have to be a um, absolute silent, quiet time. But part of that time should be an absolute silent, quiet time that you can just reflect renew and readjust and then get ready for your next week. I want to read you just a little bit of scripture that kind of talks about these things. I'm going to start in Romans in chapter 12. And so, dear brothers and sisters, I plead with you to give your bodies to God because of all he has done for you. Let them be a living and holy sacrifice, the kind he will find acceptable. This is truly the way to worship him. Don't copy the behavior and customs of this world, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think, and then you will learn to know God's will for you, which is good and pleasing and perfect. The work is always going to be there, but when we take that time to come to God, to rest in Him, this is where we get refreshed and will be shown how to walk out the rest of our day, to walk out the rest of our week. Continues in uh, verse 9. Don't just pretend to love others. Really love them. Hate what is wrong. Hold tightly to what is good. Love each other with genuine affection and take delight in honoring each other. Never be lazy, but work hard to serve the Lord enthusiastically. Rejoice in our confident hope. Be patient in trouble and keep on praying. When God's people are in need, be ready to help them. Always be eager to practice hospitality. Part of this rest thing is to recognize those around us who really need a break as well. Maybe there's something that we could do to help someone else get their rest. Maybe we can make a meal for them so that they don't have to cook and they can just sit down and have dinner with their families. Maybe we um, see someone who um, has 
you know, little kids and they're just kind of, you know, crazy with life right now. And maybe we can take the kids for an afternoon and let mom take a nap or get a massage or just go get her hair done or something, you know, that maybe she could just soak in a hot bubble bath and read a good book or something to help her renew and refresh. That way, when the kids come back, then she's in a, a, a new good place where she can then uh, be be there better for her family. There are so many just little things that we can do, even just an encouragement to encourage someone else to take that time to rest, to relax, to, you know, uh, offer for to go out for a girl's night or to take somebody out for coffee. It, it, it's just that easy to make that time for ourselves and then to notice around us our friends and family who are needing a break or needing a little extra help today and maybe we can do something and it's funny that in that blessing of them you yourself will be blessed and refreshed because you're walking out kingdom work you are moving and doing and resting and working for God and for his glory. And it becomes this amazing thing where you do something for somebody and then they'll come around and do something for you. And I would encourage you, so many of us are, I can do this, I've got this. Take the help when it is offered. Sometimes it is not just for our benefit that we accept the help. Sometimes we need to accept the help because someone else needs to be blessed in doing something. Someone else is trying to walk out their kingdom work. And by you saying, no, I got this, you're preventing one yourself from something that you might really need. And two, you may be keeping them from a blessing that they are trying to learn a new way or to do new things. And by your rejection, it may stop them from trying again or from asking again. So don't be afraid to ask for help. Don't be afraid to accept the help, the encouragement when it comes your way. Take that time and rest. And as we begin this new thinking, where we are drowning out the lies with God's promises and truth, we can then come to him in peace and rest, knowing that he is there to help us refresh and renew. I want to close today with um, Psalm 19. Oh, I'm sorry. Psalm 23. Uh, it's short, so bear with me. The Lord is my shepherd. I have all that I need. He lets me rest in green meadows. He leads me beside peaceful streams. He renews my strength. He guides me along right paths, bringing honor to his name. Even when I walk through the darkest valley, I will not be afraid, for you are close beside me. Your rod and your staff protect and comfort me. You prepare a feast for me in the presence of my enemies. You honor me by anointing my head with oil. My cup overflows with blessings. Surely your goodness and unfailing love will pursue me all the days of my life, and I will live in the house of the Lord forever. Uh, now, this is the NLT version. Um, I know the King James Version and even the NIV. Um, most people are familiar with the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Um, I like this version, too, because it just talks about resting in green pastures. And maybe not for everyone, but for me, it just gives me a mind picture of just laying down in the grass and looking up into the sky and watching the clouds move and enjoying the warmth of the sun on your skin and just resting in the moment 
of peace and comfort. That is the place that I would encourage you to go to. We can't always go lay down in the front yard and look at the clouds, but we can sit back on the couch or lay in our beds or soak in a bath and just picture that peace, that tranquility that comes with rest. So I will encourage you today, how will you find rest? A few minutes today or sometime this week carving out a day of rest. Take the time, my friends. Rest and be renewed in body. We'll talk again soon.